Hello, girl. She's like, I'm so prego. Get me a cheeseburger and French fry. I noticed something really gross about a day or so ago, and I'm I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna clean out their water. Um, they did have an extra water source of clean, fresh water that they've been drinking. I hope they haven't been drinking what I saw. Um, I just didn't have time to clean it. But they did have a clean water source right here. This is their clean water source. See, you can see the bottom of it. It's pretty nice. Hey, this is their not so nice water source. Look, look at the nasty rats in it. Icky poo. That is gross. Yeah, there's like three or four in there. Seriously. I about barfed when I saw it. Disgusting. The most disgusting thing on the face of this earth is rice, it, is mice and rats. Not my favorite things at all. I am kind of glad that they fell in here because now they're dead and they can go to their, they, they won't be a problem here anymore. And get rid of them, clean it first, and then probably fill it back up because with eight more does in here, they're probably gonna need the bigger water source. So, get over by the side. I needed all my muscles for it. It was kind of heavy. Ew, disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of those things. That is really gross. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Five of them there. Yuck. I'm pretty sure my bucks were not drinking out of that water. I'm 100% sure they were drinking out of the other one because that stinks. Ew. Oh, I can't even fathom. I gotta get rid of these. These girls are due for June, sometime in June. We don't really know. They, we think they got bred about the end of January. So uh, middle of June to end of June, we're thinking. We went ahead and separated them from the herd. And we gave them their prenatal shots. We gave them uh, enterotoxemia booster and a antibiotic to prevent abortions. And so they are ready. We've got their feed bunk here. Okay, and there's their fresh, clean water there. Fresh, clean water. You can see the bottom. That's the bottom of the tank. Yeah, and then there's their shed. And inside, they, I put some uh, mineral in there for them so that they can have extra minerals. It's like kind of a prenatal vitamin type of thing. Here's the inside of their shed, and there's their little mineral feeder that I hung up yesterday. And as you can see, there is still mineral in it. They only eat what they need. They only consume what they need. So, sorry, Sai's knocking me around. Sai, you big lug, you. Oh, say hello to the camera. Since we don't know the exact due dates on these girls, we're just gonna have to watch them really close. We think this one back behind is maybe the first one. She's kind of showing a little bit more signs. Um, you know, pounding the ground, kind of standing away from the herd. But doesn't she look good? She looks so nice, guys. But I'm really excited for her kids. I'm excited that we're gonna be getting some summer kids. Something to sell in around Christmas time. These guys should be ready to sell. So, and then these girls can be bred again for spring kids, which I'm excited about. So, wasn't too excited about the summer kids for real for, at first, but now I'm, I'm trying to see the positives of it, and there are some, and just trying to make the best of it all. This will do...
What are you saying to him, Miley? What are you saying to him? Four goats. Yep. <laughs> yep. That is right. There are five in there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Are they gonna have babies, Miley? Huh? Are they gonna have babies soon? <coughs> Miley, where where do we feed the goats? Where do we put their food? Do we feed them in there? In that bunk? Mm-hmm. We give them a little bit of grain. Yeah. It's kind of like their cheeseburger and fries, isn't it? Just a little bit of extra energy. Mommy. Yeah. Thanks for watching peeps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Please, I'd love to hear from you. So comment down below. And if you do have any questions about anything that we do here on our farm and why we do it, please contact me. I'd love to explain it further. And I will see you next time. Bye.